up everyone and welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden on the channel. I am here today with episode 32. I kind of feel like I should be further ahead than this but there have been like complications behind the scenes and things like that so I'm trying my hardest to just carry on as normal and just make sure you guys have the daily goodness that is Naruto. So also I am going to start watching Sword Art season 2 very very soon but I'm waiting until I can upload on my main channel before I'll start posting that so I could probably get like a good couple of episodes into it before you guys see it that way I'm safe from spoilers. Woo -woo. Probably not, but it's the internet, so who knows. The last episode. Do we even dare to talk about it? Ah, <sighs> there was quite a few amazing, like, little scenes in the last episode, like Naruto lifting Gara up. That was a really big, iconic scene. I know I didn't necessarily like comment on it, but I watched it, obviously. And I was just kind of like, that right there. That's what it's all about. That is the moment that we've been waiting for for such a long time, is Naruto picking up Gara and being like, it's gonna be okay, buddy, it's gonna be okay. So that was nice. Um, a couple of people on Twitter were saying that's the end of the first arc. I guess I figured that because we got a brand new intro song as well and they tend to like divide up the arcs as well. So yeah, let's go ahead, delve on into the next episode without Granny. But you know what, she lived a long life, very busy life based on what we <laughs> learned about her. As sad as it is, I guess Gara had to live in order for her to, to go and that's just... I would say that's just life, but not that's not how it works in the real world. But anyway, I'm battling as per usual. Don't forget if you are enjoying all the videos to hit that subscribe button and if you wish to watch them unedited, please feel free to head on over to my Patreon. Let's do these. The aftermath of a great battle! <sighs> what a star! Are you kidding me? I can't get a break. Who'd have thought my self-destructing clone would prove useless as well? No! I think it's about time I revealed my ultimate work of art. You're kidding me! You're kidding me! But how did... How did that... I need a bit more information than that. I don't believe this. Well, you sent something away, but it wasn't actually him, Kakashi. GG! Are you kidding me? Blondie's still in the game! Then again, it did create enough of a diversion for me to get away. My arm is being sucked into oblivion by this wretched jutsu! <laughs> Still so messed up! Is that when he swapped or still missing his arms? Hmm. But all is not lost. Only up to the elbow. <laughs> to find the rest of it. Oh no! <laughs> what a joke. Does that mean no? Don't even tell me that he is still alive. I my heart. My heart can't handle if he is still alive. Well, you didn't have to look very far to find him. Just the one with the knives in his back, you know. Who is this guy, anyway? Stay dead! Look! Here it is! Here it is, Mr. Zetsu! I found it! The ring? I remember it kind of highlighting the ring before. Maybe now I can become a member of the Akatsuki, huh? After all, there's an open spot now, right? Who the heck is that? Fool, do you really think it's that easy? Toby's a good boy. Oh. Toby! Wait, it wait a minute, Mr. Zetsu, please! It's right here, somewhere. I'm sure I can... Yeah. Mr. Zetsu, hey! Mr. Zetsu, hey, wait, wait, please! Who the heck is Toby? What? I can't, hold on a minute, let, let me just get my head around this. So, Deidara is still alive. It was a clone that exploded. What? So we only took out Sassari, and I actually liked Sassari a lot more than I liked Deidara. Just saying. Okay, second time I've listened to that song. Still not keen on it. We'll give it a few more plays. <laughs> it's just not as good as the first 
one, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're back at the sand village. With Gara! Ooh. Is it meeting time? They have a lot of people there. Like, way more than I actually thought they had. How much longer? They'll soon be in sight. <clears throat> I don't know why he wasn't actually at the thing. I suppose he had to stay behind and watch the sand village, you know. Here they come! Oh, what a moment. It's Gara. Oh, I got chills. <laughs> We love you, Kagashi! <laughs> God, I just... I can't believe it, to be honest with you. There was a part of me that thought this might happen when Granny went to use that move on Sakura, but I wasn't sure. Look at how many people there are. Just what you'd expect for the Kazekage. No doubt. Gara's like, why am I here? <laughs> I am happy you're safe. Thanks to these people. Naruto Uzumaki, I thank you. Huh? I'm not the one who... I hardly did anything at all, really. You've done more than you will ever realize. People are waiting to welcome you home. Ah, oh, it feels Come. like it's been such a long Lead arc, you know? No, wait. Huh? Not yet. Yes, you're right. Don't you send me off again! <laughs> Let us honor the memory of Lady Chio. A moment of silence. Well, sis, we made it back home. Oh my gosh. What? I feel so bad. You're leaving for him. already? You can stay a little longer. Come on. Believe me, I wish we could. Me too, but we must report back to Milady the Hokage right away. I see. Besides, if the Akatsuki have managed to penetrate this far into the sand, I'm worried about the Leaf Village's safety. Even so, in your condition... Oh, don't worry. I have comrades I can rely on to get me there. <laughs> He's right about that. By the way, we already dispatched the preliminary report with Takamaru. But there was no mention in it of the fates of the two Akatsuki members. I'll report that news to the Hokage myself. It's only one see, down, though. There's something else troubling me. There's something else troubling you? Like, what? Do you think that Kakashi's aware of the, the clone who exploded? I mean, he is intelligent, so I guess it would make sense. I love the fact that it's Meryl from Metal Gear Solid that does her voice actor. Team Guy and Team Kakashi have completed their missions and they're scheduled to return to the Leaf Village in three days. Very well. But? If I may... What is it? Despite the fact that this mission was successful, I was wondering if Master Jiraiya wasn't right to question the wisdom of sending Naruto, a Jinchuriki, to face an enemy that we know is on the hunt for the Tailed Beasts. Even with a former Anbu Black Ops member like Kakashi along to protect him, wasn't it taking an enormous risk sending Naruto on such a mission? I 100% agree. The only one who can truly understand a Jinchuriki is another Jinchuriki. Besides, Naruto's got that mysterious power. One that makes everyone he meets want to bet on him. Is that a power or is that his personality? Is that... Lady Chiyo's resting place. I'm gonna miss her. I barely even feel like I got to know her, but I'm gonna miss her. She was just so exciting as a character and... She didn't want a headstone on her grave, but despite her wishes, I thought it was better to have one. I felt sure that people would want a place to come to remember her. Say your farewells. Hmm. So is the brother just gonna stick around in the sand village now? Because I know they were on the outskirts, but they were on the outskirts together. 
Let's go. Right. And what a fight she had against Sassari as well. It was honestly one of my favorite fights. It went on, but the action was just crazy. I loved it. Aww. Sakura! Naruto! We really should be going! Right! Come on, Sakura. It's time to go. I've never seen Sakura like this before. I love it. Like, I feel like I love this new energy from Sakura. I feel like it's gonna make her so much stronger because she wants to make sure that Granny was right about her. I feel like we've been giving Sakura so much shade for so long that I feel like in this entire arc, she done nothing but prove herself time and time again. And Granny just seemed well, to bring that so out of her long. too. Uh, yeah. Are you his buddies now or? <laughs> I guess this is where people are supposed to shake hands and get all choked up. But I've never really been very good at that stuff either. So let's just leave it. Oh, this is huge! Oh no! Oh. After everything, everything, all the fights, just sand! <laughs> it's like, this is huge! It's so simple, but it's so huge. Shake his hand, shake his hand. <laughs> I never thought I would see this, Gara. I never. Huh? Is he doing that? He still has control over the sound? <laughs> I thought he lost all of his powers. I thought they took all of that out of him. Maybe I was wrong. The Leaf Village just bonded with the Sand Village. This is huge. Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna be like crying with joy. Other than the fact that Blondie is still alive, which is unfortunate, but we'll get him next time. I hope Kakashi's gonna be okay. Can't you two go any faster? <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Shut your mouth! <laughs> uh, sorry about this guy. That new shot and gun really takes a lot out of me. <laughs> He's gonna snap! <laughs> what just happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are always a show off! Strong. I just... Grown man playing piggyback. It's almost creepy. Lee's I obviously gonna like it. Exercise. See, I told you. <laughs> so you want to see faster? I'll show you faster. <laughs> Gang Are you forgetting how many times he has run around the Leaf Village? What's wrong, Slowpoke? Can't keep up with me? Let's go. <laughs> this seems like a really bad strategy, though. <laughs> Neji, forget it. <laughs> beep 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 beep. <laughs> I love this show. I love that it literally goes from you crying to you just laughing so hard. Yeah, looks like Dieter has a goner too. Blew himself to bits from the looks of it, don't you think, Mr. Zetsu? They're probably body parts scattered all over here. <laughs> Get your hands off that, you fool. Well, at least he found it. He's alive! Who the heck is Toby? Where's the Jinchuriki? Don't look at me, I did my job. You must have had a close shave, huh, Daedra? But you're in one piece? Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Toby, even the Buddha loses patience when insulted a third time. Ooh. One more word and there'll be no doubt about the cause of your death. <laughs> death by suffocation! <laughs> what? They're a bunch of jokers! They're, like, so serious when it comes to, like, Naruto and all that, but they're a bunch of jokers! To be assigned to Team Kakashi. I've made arrangements. Not only are you close to Naruto Uzumaki in age, you are stronger than anyone of your generation in the village. You possess those incomparable talents with a paintbrush. Huh? Who? From today until the completion of your mission, your name will be Sai. Sai? Yes, I understand. Sai? Like Psyduck? Wipe that fake smile off your face when you're with me. 
Forgive me, I read that in order to win people over, one must be able to smile. Creating facial expressions, it's still quite difficult for me. Why? Who are ya? What? Okay. Psyduck. <laughs> Psy. <laughs> Who the heck is that? Okay, so we're finally learning about new members of the Akaks. Akaks. Why can't I say that word? <laughs> cat scan? A cat scan? I don't know. Anyway, Toby seems like he's not actually a member but wishes to be. So my question is, why do they have someone hanging about with them who's actually nothing to do with it whatsoever? Strange. Yeah. Blondie is still alive and they managed to find his hand with his mouth so it's not the end. Yay! <laughs> Um, yeah, really sad about Granny finally being laid to rest, but very cool now that we have the sand and the leaf village united, so maybe they can help us out in the future. But it definitely looked to me like Gara still had some sort of control over the sand, so maybe that'll get explained a little bit later on, but that definitely confused me. And who the heck is Sai? And his name is now Psyduck for future reference. Yes. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.